Hey y'all, Grandma Rose here. I have been tagged by Chris of Nichols Retirement Empire. Chris is a funny guy. He lives in Georgia, I believe. Um, yeah, he, he lives in Georgia. Recently retired school administrator. He started his channel to chronicle his last few weeks of, of working. And then he has continued his uh, his YouTube channel, and it's just a great guy, and I'm really enjoying watching him. He's funny. Just really, really funny sense of humor. But he has some really interesting and serious videos at the same time. Obviously, he's a gardener, because what he was, uh, the challenge that he challenged me in is why you garden. He was challenged by, by somebody else, uh, Garden Obsessions Challenge, Garden Obsessions Channel could be the challenge too. But uh, Chris is not a vegetable gardener, or at least he is not primarily a vegetable gardener. Chris enjoys growing flowers, though I do believe he does grow some vegetables. He likes to grow things like crepe myrtle trees and Rose of Sharon trees and roses, hybrid tea roses, which I definitely shy away from. So what, what he asked me about was, there are five questions that I'm supposed to answer and then I'm supposed to tag three more people and apparently this has been going on for a while so I'm, I'm getting maybe toward the tail end of this and uh, we'll try to tag some people who might not have, have been asked to do this before but the number one question is why do you garden so number one is why do you garden number one why do you garden I garden because I love to garden. I garden because I can and because I love it. And it just, it makes me happy. I think making me happy is the most important thing. I garden because it makes me happy. When I was in elementary school, um, my dad gave me my own little flower bed. And I, I grew things, mostly flowers from seeds, but I did grow radishes and things that most kids can grow easily. So that was when I was in elementary school, 10, 10 or so. And then I didn't do anything except help in the, him in the garden for years uh, until I had my own house. So I've had, I've had my own garden since the first house I rented um, after my husband graduated from law school and we moved back to his, his hometown. So every, every time I have ever had enough land to have an in-ground garden, I had an in-ground garden. If there was not enough room for an in-ground garden, I had pots on my patio or on my deck. I am a gardener and I've always been a gardener, probably always will be a gardener. Let me see what else. Um, what are the other questions? I can't find. They're on my phone and I'm sitting on my phone. Okie dokie. I was sitting on my phone. I knew something felt odd. Okay, so the third question is, what do you grow? Um, I guess the easier question is, what do I not grow? Let me, let me start right now what I grow. Right now I grow primarily flowers and vegetables. I also grow shrubs and trees. I grow fruit trees and fruit, fruiting shrubs, um, wildflowers and herbs. That's a lot. That's that's what I grow. Uh, I, I have not grown corn. I tried growing corn one year, and I discovered why people had scarecrows. Um, pretty much you name it. So yeah, I'm growing all kinds of things. The next thing, what is my favorite thing to grow? Number four, my favorite thing to grow. In, as a botanist, I've studied wildflowers and studied wild plants, plants growing out in nature. And even, even though my specialty in botany turned out to be lab things where we have a microscope, I have a microscope right across the room. So I can, look at, I can look at plants and identify them up close because a lot of the things 
that you need for identifying plants are so small that you can't do it with just a magnifying glass. So yes, I have a microscope. But my favorite thing to grow would be wildflowers. Wildflowers, native plants, and herbs. Um, so the last question is, why do you YouTube? I YouTube because it's fun. And because I can. And because I can talk to myself and not feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> I have had some type of blog, whether it was called a blog, per se, or, or just a website, since the middle to late 1990s. I started with a, uh, a website called GeoCities. Have you ever heard of GeoCities? Some of you who are a little bit older may remember GeoCities, and that was very similar to uh, blog, like Blogspot, and uh, what are some of the other names of, where, okay, WordPress has, the, has blogs, and there are other ones, other websites that host blogs. But it was a hosting website for people, people who had blog type websites and that's what I did I, I had essentially I had a blog I decided I wanted my own domain and so in around 2000 2001 maybe uh, I bought my own domain name and have, have had my own website which I no longer do anything with but I'm not getting rid of it because I've had it for such a long time I don't want to get rid of it and maybe one of these days I'll do something more with it but right now it's just kind of sitting there collecting dust. But yeah, why I YouTube is because I can reach out to people. I can talk to people. I can chronicle my life and maybe my grandchildren will learn something about me one of these days that they didn't know and they can laugh at me and say, that's my crazy grandmother. If you want to learn how to do anything, anything, you can find a video of it on YouTube. I made a garden I made a garden gate and I, I made a latch for my garden gate. I looked on YouTube and for the latch that I made for my garden gate, I found one person that had a video on how to make that kind of latch that I had seen somewhere and I wanted to know how to do it. I found someone who had done it and um, I was able to do it myself. I like being able to teach people. I like, I like to, to help them do things that I know how to do that maybe they want to learn how to do. I think that's the main reason why I YouTube. I YouTube because I can and because it's fun. It makes me laugh. I love the community and I want to be part of that, that community. I want to help people. I want to teach them how to do things that I already know how to do and that maybe they want to learn how to do and I have that I have that that knowledge that I can pass on. That's why I YouTube. I want my grandchildren to see me instead of as just grandmother. I want her to I want them to see me laughing and smiling and giggling about things other than tickling them on their belly when they were little. I want them to see me as a person other than just grandma. So I'm able to chronicle things. I'm able to chronicle parts of my life that I want my family to see. And I'm hoping that while I'm doing that, that other people are learning something from it. That's why I YouTube. Let's go on to the other questions. So there. Now it's my turn to tag somebody else. Now who am I going to tag? Huh. I've got to come up with three people that haven't done this before. And I'm not sure. I met somebody online the not long, just very rel relatively recently. The person I met recently online, in fact, I don't even know that I have posted in their comment section before. I know I, I followed them. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a follower of their, of their channel. But I don't know that we've actually even communicated, but I just want them to know that I did enjoy watching their gardening. That is a, a YouTube channel called Simply Garden. And that a man who has been gardening for at least 50 years, and he has a wonderful garden in New Hampshire. 
I wish I had a garden as beautiful as he does. So I want to tag him and I want him to answer these same five questions that I just answered. So why do you garden? How long have you been gardening? What do you grow? What is your favorite thing to grow? Now that's different from what do you grow? And why do you YouTube? So answer those five things for me. Now I'm going to tag two more people. The second person I'm going to tag is somebody who actually may have done this before. And this is a lady that I met down in Wiggins, Mississippi in March. And I have been watching her, her YouTube channel for, for quite a while. Uh, she's a lady younger than me, but she's also a single woman and lives in, actually she lives in Louisiana and she owns property in, uh, South, in South Arkansas. The name of her YouTube channel is Southern Ark Homestead. So Nina, I am tagging you and I want you to answer these same five questions. Okay. Okay, Nina, it's your turn. The last person I'm going to tag is a YouTube channel that has been, I, you know, I don't even know how long this YouTube channel has been on YouTube. I know the lady is fabulous and I love, love, love watching her channel. She inspires me. She makes me happy. She makes me laugh and she makes me grin. But she gardens in Central Arkansas and has recently had the honor of being asked by Baker Creek Homestead to be a speaker at their conference coming up in California this fall. So that's exciting. So Jess, Jess, I'm tagging you. You know who I'm talking about. Jess of Roots and Refuge Farm, I'm tagging you. I want you to answer these same five, five questions. Will you please do that for me? You've probably have already done it before, but I would really love it if you would do it again. Because if anybody has not watched this channel, you need to be watching this channel. I love this channel as much as anything that I've been watching for the last two or three years. Jess, I congratulate you on doing a fabulous job. Thank you for being on YouTube. So, I can't wait to hear what these three people I have tagged have to say and who they tag, because I want to learn some more new people on, on YouTube. Bye, y'all. See you next time.